Hello everyone and welcome to my next presentation about Chinese characters. This one will be about the character Tang. Tang in the first tone. And uh, this character has several meanings, but probably the most important meaning will be when or at that time. Tang uh, means at the time when I went there. It can also mean the verb to have the occupation of of something for instance it means to be a teacher or for instance to be a professor and so on so th this character that you see over here is the traditional version of this character I will show you the simplified version so this is the simplified version of this character and as you can see the bottom element has been simplified into this sort of reversed E and uh, this character consists of two parts. This is the top part or the top element or the top radical. And it is also the phonetic element of this character is pronounced shang. Shang. In the fourth tone, and as you can see, the pronunciation of shang is very close to the pronunciation of tang. Of course, it's not a perfect indicator but uh, the final of this character ang and the final of this character ang are the same almost the same the tone is different but they are very close and probably when this character was created uh, the pronunciation of this element of this element was even closer to the pronunciation of the character as a whole and then we have the bottom element this one over here which is pronounced tian and it means a field or yeah a field basically a field of where you can plant crops and this is very probably the semantic element pointing to the meaning of the character as a whole but unfortunately it is not very clear as to why it is basically in this character so let me show you how to write it so contrary to what you might think you're not starting with this dotted stroke over here you first start with this middle stroke over here one then you do the left dotted stroke and then you do this stroke which is not a dot it's a pie stroke which as I said in earlier videos it is in its long form written like this and this is basically the one that you can see over here in the character is just a very very short and tilted form of the same uh, of, of the stroke that I just showed you and the difference the main difference between this one and this one is that this one is written from left to right and this one is written this one is written from right to left so let me just continue so first the middle stroke then the left one the right one then the roof which is it's actually even even as a radical this one is called the roof and it's pronounced mien then the mouth over here and then the field so one more time one two three for this stroke over here by the way is the same stroke as this one it's it's going it's just going into a different direction so it's something that um, just adds up to the confusion when it comes to writing Chinese characters because you would say that this stroke over here is the same as this stroke over here since it is written from right to left and is falling from right to left but it's not it's actually a dot stroke just like this one because the technique the way you write it is in calligraphy is the same as this one it just has a slightly different direction then you do the roof then you do the mouth then you do the field and you close it up and that's it for the traditional character and the simplified character the top is written in the same uh, way as in the traditional one so first you start with the middle stroke then the tian and then the pie and then you do the roof and then you do this reversed e Not the prettiest character that I ever wrote, but it will do. So I hope you enjoyed this presentation, and I will see you in the next video.